we had a major fall of snow yesterday, the day before yesterday and uh, you can see how much damage it's done it's really it's made my little trips to the shopping but really serious now I went out yesterday and I almost never made the shop it was so difficult for me to get to just to the range and back that my lags were so painful that I really doubt I'll be able to do that again until it clears up so anyway you can see how much snow has fallen, it's probably about a foot of snow, 12 inches. Uh, if you think of drifting, uh, it's probably up to 16, 20 inches. It's an incredible amount of snow, I've never seen it so deep at these latitudes, at 56 degrees latitude. And I think, if I remember correctly, this year, uh, since the winter began in December, the lowest temperature I've recorded is 46 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's 46 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So you can see people have been digging their cars and that uh, out. I'll zoom in on some of the features. If I think back, I, I think it possibly it was 2010, 11, 2010 I think was our last uh, major snowfall. It's kind of strange where I live up at 56 degrees latitude, you would think come the winter you'd always get a large, large snow deposits, but not so much, just usually a few inches. Uh, no doubt people are thinking, no doubt people may be thinking, this This is, if, maybe if you've heard the CIA reports and stuff, the kind of stuff that Cooper was talking about, exposing in his work, the coming of the Ice Age, but I think this is just snowfall, okay, the Ice Age, it won't start as snowfall, it'll be more like three or four days ago, it was so cold that the water itself had frozen, you, you, if you remember three or four days ago, it was so cold, uh, where, but it was only at 49 degrees Fahrenheit, but it was still so cold, uh, because of pressure, atmospheric pressures and things, not just the temperature, and everything froze over, I think the ice age would be more like that, rather than it begins with snowfall, and the snow never leaves, that's what I think, uh, so there you have it, I, I really, uh, what I think, our system in Scotland is to just keep the roads open so you can get to the shops and get your electricity and heating and things, and I've been absolutely frozen, I have, I got all my gear on, hats on, call my coats on, I've got like, I, I, sometimes I've even got my tent wrapped around my duvet cover on my bed, that's so cold I am. Uh, I got my tent wrapped around me also. That adds a bit of insulation. So our system is we keep the roads open so people could just walk along the roads. You can see that, that they've done that. But as for the pavements, you can see the pavements are dead. There's somebody just coming out of their house. Uh, so that's our system, so you can get to the shops, or if you're wealthy you can get taxis and stuff, and if you've got a car, it's so easy for you, but me, I've got nothing, all i got is, I was fi I'm finding it so hard to walk, I've not made any leap forwards for a little while, uh, all the little, it's hard enough for me to walk on the flat, I, get, I need to sit down and uh, but now that the snow has fallen, You can see that I'm going to have to break trail through that, right? So it's really difficult for me. So it's going to cost me. I'm going to have to get more taxis and things. And online shopping is dead. You need to wait like a, a week.
five, six days before you can get any online shopping where I live. So it's really kind of serious for people who can't get out and about. And one thing they've done, right? I think they've left a little channel for the people who live, the residents in my block, to get around. But the, they've just dumped the, the, the guy, I think the guy who cleans the road. He's came in, he's scooped all the snow and just dumped it in my window. So that'll be inside that. It's like Mount Everest or K2, okay? They think it looks more like Everest, but not so much. I could go out there and mould it so it looks more like Everest, but I don't think I'll bother. That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, if you can could, you could think, right, if it's at 46 degrees Fahrenheit, that is going to be a big lump of solid ice. That is going to be there for a year. It's going to take six months for that to clear up. I'm going to have to smash that up, right, or it'll be there forever. So something I was thinking about, how are we going to get rid of all the snow, right? A good idea I came up with is that if everybody, at least the wealthy people, if everybody puts their heating on and gets a hose on the hot tap and they come out and hose it all down, all that snow will just disappear. It'll just turn to water. So if you a couple of hours, it'll probably, most of it will be gone, right? So that's a good idea for you. Instead of shoveling it away, why don't you put, uh, get a hose, put it on your tap, put on the hot water and come out and hose it down and it'll all drain away through the drainage system so there's a good idea for you so I think right I'm complaining because it's very hard for me and I don't want to uh, phone the social workers or that to help me because they'll probably whisk me off to the hospital and cut my legs off or something they'll not let me go again right but I'm thinking about how hard it is for the animals and the, the birds they rely on insects, worms and that, uh, the staple diet, uh, so you can see how different it's going to be for them. So this has been, this is the third day it's been like that, so they must be famished now. So if you're a kind person, you should get out and leave them some breadcrumbs and that, right? They will be, they'll be dying in their thousands by now, okay?